I'm going to do an unboxing on this printer I just bought. It's an Epson Workforce WF3620. It's a wireless printer that's four in one. You print, you copy, you scan, you fax, and you can connect through the ethernet. Uh, the box says fast, fast speeds for high volume printing. It has a large 250 sheet paper capacity tray plus you can load paper from the back. It has a 2.7 touch screen for easy navigation and it's auto two-sided that you can print two-sided, copy two-sided, scan and fax all two-sided. The print speed is 19 pages per minute in black and white, 10 pages per minute in color. The two-sided print speed is 9.2 black and white and 6.3 in color. The scan resolution is 1200 by 2400 DPI dots per inch. The print resolution is 4800 by 2400 uh, DPI dots per inch. And again, the LCD screen is 2.7 inches. Um, what you get in the box is obviously the printer, an installation CD, and the power cord. What you don't get in the box is you don't get a USB cable, you don't get a telephone cord, and you don't get uh, extra Dura, Dura, Dura Bright Ultra Ink Set, and you don't get paper. Obviously, you don't get paper. Now, the ink cartridges are the Epson 252. You can have the large capacity or the standard, and that is for the uh, color cartridges as well. You, you do get blue, red, and yellow, and, and also black. So if one goes out, you can just go replace one. It's not a tri-color. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open this up. Before I open it up, I forgot to add one thing. The wireless connection can be made from an iPod, an iPhone, your tablet, and your smartphone. I also forgot to mention that uh, the system required is Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. Uh, you can also, your Mac OS, uh, 10.5.8 to 10.10. .10. I'm running Windows 10, uh, so we'll see how that works out. I'm assuming you just you can just go and download the new drivers. The width is 17.7 inches, the depth is 16.4, and the height is 9.6. Now, now with that out the way, let's see what's in here. Before we get in here, obviously it's packaged well. You got your styrofoam and your plastic. Here are your little baby ink cartridges, which probably only have a little bit of ink in them. Uh, like I said, you get your black, blue, red, yellow. inside of the box you have your power cord and your installation disc with instructions. Okay, here she is. On the front you can hook up SD cards, your USB, here's your tray, uh, it's taped down right now, here's your tray, here's your touch screen, here's the, 
Here's the extra tray on the back, which you can adjust for different size envelopes or letters. Here's your fax or your copy, which you can also adjust for different uh, size letters. And can't lift it up right now because it's taped. And here's your scanner. Okay. Now on the side, you have your LAN connection and your USB connection. On the back, you have your landline, your extension line, and this is the power supply. The, you also have on the back This little piece pulls out. I'm assuming this is for maintenance, in case paper jams or anything of that nature. And you also have this, these little filters. There's a filter at the bottom and, and a filter at the top. So now, what I'm going to do is take all this plastic off and set it up. Okay, now that I have all the plastic off, you can see this is where the Epson holds 250 sheets. You can also, you can adjust this to accommodate different sizes, envelopes, um, letters, different sizes. Then when you print, this is where the paper comes out. When you scan or fax, it goes through the top and comes out the bottom. So, like I said, off to install it. Now that I have the printer in the corner where I want it, I'm just gonna follow the directions. Obviously, unpacked it. Two, turn on and configure. So you simply just plug in the computer, do not connect it to the computer yet, and then just hit the power button. Okay, now hit the power button. After you turn it on, you're gonna to have to configure it. Month, day, year, uh, country, language. As soon as you get done with that, then you move to the next step, which is loading the ink cartridges. I just got done setting up the language, the country, the time, the date, and now the printer is going through its own setup. It says preparing, do not open the screen. So as soon as this gets done, go to the next step, which is loading the ink cartridges. And while that's doing that, the ink cartridges simply come in these little packages. You just rip it. careful that you do not want to touch the ink container and then once you install it you simply just take this little yellow tab off and then you're ready to go okay now the printer has stopped the screen reads install ink cartridges so you simply just grab on both sides lift up and the ink cartridge slot slides over Watch your hand. <laughs> it, it's, it moves to where you can lift the little flap up and then it tells you the order. So you simply just pull the yellow tab down and install. It's only one way. Okay, once you've installed the ink, close the little door, close it on down. The printer says checking the ink cartridges, please wait. It just got done doing its setting up, it's initializing with the ink and now it says select paper size and type for paper source. Let's see, paper size leather, letter, paper type, plain. 
Now it's ready for the paper. Simply just pull the paper tray out, lift it up. If you want to adjust the size, push this little clip in, it goes in, out. Same thing with this, clip in, out. So I don't know how many sheets I have here, but I have a lot, at least a hundred. asking me to connect the phone line. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to hit close. Then it says fax is not set up. Remind me later. Yes. And now I'm ready to either hit copy, scan, or fax. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay. Just got done with step number four, loading the paper. Move to step number five, and that is connect the fax line. I'm actually not going to do that at this time. I'm just going to move to number six, install the software. You do not want your printer connected to your computer. If you have it connected through a USB or an Ethernet cable, disconnect the cables and load the CD. Follow the on-screen uh, instructions, and then it will ask you how do you want this connected? Wireless? Do you want a direct USB? Or do you want a uh, wired network through an Ethernet? Follow those on the screen steps and then you will be done. I'm going to do, use wireless, so I'm not going to use any wire. Okay, before I go, I'll um, let you know there, had, there were four Epson workforce models. This one was the second one. The cheapest one was 70. This one was 90. They had two more, I uh, believe they went up to 120 and 150. This one was kind of in the middle. Um, I didn't like the one right under it because it didn't have a tray to hold all the paper. You just put it in the tray in the back. And then the other two were pretty much this model. It just printed faster and held more paper. So for me, this one worked. Um, I hope that helps somebody to come to a conclusion and I uh, appreciate you watching and you have a nice day.